Yeah, so I, I think, first of all, I applaud the EAU for putting together a session dedicated to palliative care because it's not something we talk about enough in, in urologic oncology and uh, in peanut cancer particularly, being that it is an infant uh, disease. Unfortunately, a lot of patients with this cancer uh, are challenged related to getting evidence-based care and uh, we definitely know, and I've public, I presented it this morning, is that patients who have advanced disease, unfortunately, typically have a survival less than six to 12 months. And so uh, what we really highlighted in the session that I spoke at, some of our prior work uh, detailing that even among barely what we feel are good surgical candidates, uh, we have about 5% of patients who will likely die within 12 months of the surgery and up to uh, 13% uh, will die uh, within uh, a 12-month period. So uh, I, I definitely think that it's important to be aware that uh, many patients are at risk of progressing. And so when we see patients in our practices, particular patients who have advanced cancer, who have disease that comes back, we should have a palliative care uh, team involved. And, you know, palliative is not so much about giving up on treatment, but addressing symptoms, optimizing how patients are, are being cared for, because we clearly know uh, that we can uh, significantly improve not only their quality, but their quantity of life, and also improve their abilities to spend quality time with their family members. And uh, I provided a few case examples of, of surgical cases where uh, treatment was beneficial and things that we can do uh, to improve patient outcomes. One is uh, sometimes doing aggressive surgery, uh, as long as patients uh, don't have uh, really bad predictors of, of outcome, meaning comorbidities or, or progression to the point that they may not be surgical candidates. Sometimes that can be beneficial. Uh, understanding that the goal at that point is palliation and symptom control. I do think it's also important uh, to look for recurrences early on because that makes a difference in how patients do. And then I also provided some examples of things that can be done uh, using uh, interventional radiology and other types of vascular procedures, uh, which are non-invasive to improve quality of life for some patients who have vascular extension of their cancers.